Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Well, many of you have been asking me how to build a PC. Well, here's a quick guide on how to build a PC. This is how I do it. Okay, so number one, choose your parts wisely. If you're not sure, you can visit my website. I've got a gaming guide that shows you all these different configurations for every budget. After you've purchased everything, map it out, put it all on, on the table. Make sure that you've gone through your checklist. You've got all the parts, the screws, the hardware, thermal paste, everything, right? You don't want to be disappointed that you forgot something. So map it all out, lay it all out. After you're ready to go, then the first thing that I usually do is install the motherboard screws. So the, the motherboard mounting screws that go on the tray of your case, those go in first. Okay, so as you can see here, I already have a couple of those screws, those golden ones, in the ATX uh, hole. So the, this motherboard that I'm going to be installed is an ATX motherboard. If it's a micro ATX, the... Uh, the screw configuration is slightly different and usually comes the information on the uh, case. Okay, so uh, you can check the manuals for that. And then the next thing that I do after I put in those screws on the tray is this IO shield plate. This comes with the motherboard. Okay, already. So you just align that properly and make sure that you put that in there. Usually the um, speaker are on the left and the uh, mouse and keyboard are on the right. Now after that, you take your favorite motherboard that you bought and you slide it in there and align the holes at the back where the IO plate is. Okay, that's how I usually uh, eyeball it and make sure that it clicks into place there at the back. Okay, you can always take a look on the other side, make sure that everything sticks out properly. And then, of course, the holes on the motherboard tray, all right, throughout the board. Make sure that they appear, that you can see the holes through there. And then once you've got everything aligned properly, now fasten the board onto the case. So. With the case, you've got all the screws. That usually comes with the case or the motherboard, okay? So um, find your screws that will fit on there. And in this case, for this one, I'm going to be using these black ones, okay? The theme that I've got here going on is uh, black and blue, as you can see. So we're going to stick to that. And um, then basically just put the screws on there and then just get your Phillips screwdriver and make sure that you uh, fasten those on there. Not too tight, though, okay? Make sure that uh, just... Uh, Screw those on until it, you, you feel a little bit of pressure, but don't uh, don't press too hard. You want to crack the, uh, the board, okay? So once that's on there, then the next thing that I usually do is deal with the CPU. So in this case, I already have it installed. Um, and depending on the CPU you've got, an AMD or an Intel, the, um, the bracket here and the layout is slightly different. But uh, the bottom line is every CPU has... A certain configuration orientation you just can't slap a CPU in any way okay so it will have holes in certain ways that you can put it in and the manual that comes with the uh, CPU usually tells you that as well and you can tell by the alignment and um, and and the way it's it's made basically that it can only go in one way now the other thing is the CPU cooler different CPU coolers require different uh, hardware and different process to install it. So read your manual. In this case, I'm using a Cooler Master TX3, which I reviewed, so you can look that video review on how, how this whole thing works. And um, I'm going to be putting in some thermal paste on the bottom of this CPU cooler because of the copper heat pipes. There's a little bit of tiny gap there at the bottom of the base. I want to make sure that I don't have any air, so um, I'm making sure that I put in a thin layer there to cover all the bases on this one. Most of my CPU coolers that I reviewed, I don't have to do this at all. I just put a, le a tiny little uh, piece size drop on the CPU only, not on the CPU cooler, but on this one I am putting it on, okay? So here's the uh, CPU, tiny piece size like I said, and uh, just spread it out nicely, okay? And uh, I've got terrific results with uh, the um, Tunic TX3, okay? So you can use Arctic Silver, doesn't matter, as long as you use thermal paste that's the bottom line do not put a CPU cooler without thermal paste okay so um, this is how much I use and it's worked terrific on all my video reviews you've seen how cool I, I keep my CPUs so then after that after I follow the instructions and install the CPU cooler fasten the four pin power connector for the fan on there sometimes there's three pin doesn't matter and now install your RAM okay so uh, most uh, motherboards come color coordinated so you can install your uh, dual channel memory there so two blues two blacks on AMD boards they uh, tend to say to install it on the black so the ones further away from the motherboard and this Intel board I'm installing it on the blues okay best results for overclocking so I'm gonna go ahead and install this uh, beautiful OCZ platinum edition uh, memory here four gigs of it and uh, put them in the blue click into place right there as you can see make sure the notch of the memory aligns properly and um, 
Here now we're going to install the power supply. So I have a dust filter in there. So I'm going to have the, the power supply facing down. So uh, in some cases, the power supply is at the top or you don't have um, a preference. Well, you can face it any way you want. But in this case, uh, and in most new cases that you buy, the power supply is at the bottom and it intakes cold air from the bottom of the case and it spits it out through the back. Okay, so nice and snug there, slide it into the back, it comes with four screws and you attach it on there. So in part two of this building uh, of a PC, we'll review the next steps and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again for watching. More questions can be answered on my forum if you haven't visited yet and please rate and comment on this video. Thank you.